Rub up your engines! Bearded Ape Beard Gear says, My Nissan is always braking. Well, you're not the only one on the planet with that problem who owns a Nissan. They just have a tendency of braking. It's unfortunate. So I tell people don't buy them. Ever since they merged with Renault years ago, their quality's been going downhill. Just don't buy one. It's like my wife always says. She said, People are always whining that, oh, these evil corporations are taking over the world and they're making everything horrible. Well, we still have a choice. You don't have to buy their stuff. So if they make crap, don't buy it. That's the whole philosophy that I have with people. That's why I'm here educating the public. If somebody makes crap, don't buy it. And if you have a problem with things that have crap, tell me about it. Then in my brain, it memorizes all that stuff. So I know, hey, everybody says Nissan's crap. I work on them. I know they're crap. So I warn people, don't buy them. They're crap. <laughs> Uh, Scotty, should I go for a 2012 Honda Civic or 2012 Accord? Which would last longer? Both with automatic transmissions. You got to get them checked out by a mechanic to see if they either have a problem. Because buying a used car, trust no one. People lie, cheat, and steal. I have them come here all the time. Oh, they've never been in a wreck. And the Carfax says they've never been in a wreck. And I look at them, I can see they've been in massive wrecks. So you can't believe anybody. Depends what you want. Those are both excellent cars, and they can both last a long time. If you want better fuel economy, a better ride, get the Accord. They can both last a really long time. And then decide price, too. You're going to get a Civic cheaper than an Accord. How much you want to spend? They'll both last a really long time if you take care of them. DB Leo X Scotty, please, could you recommend a low maintenance but fully loaded used car for an old man? Drive 15,000 kilometers a year, been a fan of Mercury. Eh, go for the Mercury Marquis. You know, it's an old man car. The old Ford Crown Victoria, it's an old man car. And they can run a long time. And you're only talking 15,000 kilometers a year so yeah go ahead and get it old man car. sounds like you're uh, up in Canada and if you are those cars rust up there that's your problem is you might think about taking a trip to Texas buy a used one and go and drive it up <laughs> or Arizona someplace where it doesn't rust wow angling so Scotty would you highly recommend to use WD-40 for cars yeah it's a very good lubricant slash preservative there's plenty of them out there that said don't think that they're the only one there's hundreds of companies that make stuff the WD-40 is pretty good because it's been out there for years and of course originally it was basically spray kerosene well then they added some lubricants to it and so it's pretty good for locks and for getting rid of squeaks and stuff but that said each thing can often have the best lubricant for one particular type if you're going to lubricate something that's bare metal to bare metal you're better using spray lithium because spray lithium the lithium is really good for bare metal if you're spraying something on a motorcycle chain that's a metal chain which is on a metal sprocket lithium is better there because it's better it hangs on better if you're going to use any type of spray do a little research of what you're putting it on and what it's used for wd-40 is a good general purpose thing but you got to realize exactly what are you lubricating how long you want it to last dx time lapse hd said hey scotty what's your opinion on the toyota solera somewhat fancier Toyota Camry and a lot of them were convertibles or rag tops. Toyota stopped making them. It wasn't that they had any particular problems. They already had the Camry then they got heavier into Lexus and I think they just decided that they were going to go more towards selling the Lexus brand. They're trying to make fancier Toyotas. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. You can buy them. They don't have any particular problems if they're maintained but you know they were good cars. It just uh, was something Toyota decided to go another route than to make. They didn't stop making them because, you know, they were junky cars like uh, Ford Edsel ages ago. They just, uh, it was a marketing thing with them, I feel. Alan Hodgson says, what's the best type of rust remedy for cars? Thanks. Realize like Neil Young sang, rust never sleeps. Once rust starts, it does not stop. You want to prevent it in the first place. You want to keep your paint from getting scratches and rust. You want to keep the undercarriage of your vehicle so that the undercoating hasn't chipped off. Off, and then rust gets in there because once it starts the only way to fix it is to cut off the old rust weld new metal in then prime it and paint it that's the only way guys that have these BS videos about fix your rust with Bondo you're just covering the rust up with Bondo and it's going to continue to rust underneath and then it'll rust out again so you want to keep it from happening in the first place and if you live up north or you live near the seaside with the salt water spray all the time you want to rinse the whole undercarriage of the car and the paint and everything once a week to get that salt off because once it starts you can't stop it so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos 
Remember to ring that bell!